Okay, now that we have reduced the noise in this image, let's look at the rest of the image. In fact, let's even go in a little closer. You can see that in reducing the noise, we've blurred the image somewhat. And that's where sharpening can come in handy. So I'm going into the detail panel again, and I'm going to press the reveal triangle for the sharpening. And I'm going to take the sharpening up, oh, about halfway. You can see that sharpening up. So let me show you how the radius and the detail work, and then the masking. The best way to show the radius is to hold my Option key on a Mac or Alt key on a PC as I slide this slider. As I slide it to the right, what you see is that Scammer Raw sharpens things by drawing a white line on one side of an edge and a dark line on the opposite side of the edge. This makes it look crisper. The radius slider lets you determine how much that is. I'll tell you right now that one of the easiest ways to tell if an image has been Photoshopped is to have something look like that. What you really want is just kind of a, a thin line on either side. So radius doesn't need to be too high. The detail on the left side, very little detail. On the right side, a little bit more detail. Now the masking part is the most important. When I hold my Option or Alt key on the masking, here on the left, every single pixel in the image is being sharpened. But as I start dragging that to the right, only the areas in white are being sharpened. So you can limit that to just like the main lines of, of things being sharpened in the image. Let's jump back out to 100%. Typically, once I'm out at 100%, I reduce everything a little bit. And there we go. 